guys what's up I welcome you in core java interview question and answer uh, in this video tutorial we are going to uh, learn about one of the very important uh, java interview question and the question is that why should we choose array array list link list over one another for given scenario and why yeah so this is really really very important question from java uh, interview uh, purpose as well as when you work on any existing requirement right whether you work on uh, maintenance project or uh, any project from the scratch and when you get a requirement right so definitely you are going to deal with the collection of object and where uh, and in which, which which scenario we should uh, uh, select array array list or link list we are going to talk in this video today. so when we talk about the array where uh, to use array then there are a certain things uh, it, these are the points you need to keep in mind uh, before uh, choosing uh, array is your uh, basically uh, your data structure yeah so array is a fixed size collection which can hold primitives or uh, objects right array itself uh, is, a, is, a, is an object and uh, memory for array object is allocated on the heap array is a kind of object right so when you create any object using new operator right so that uh, objects gets created in the uh, Eden space of the heap right so similarly when you create an uh, uh, object right you make use of the new keyword so so uh, array is a, uh, also an object and that's get created in the heap so that takes memory from the heap now second point array does not provide useful collection methods like add add all remove uh, iterator etc so when you create an array array doesn't have any existing method like uh, you have in some other collection like array list, link list, etc. Uh, uh, third point we have a uh, we should choose array only when the size of input is fixed and known in advance and underlying elements are of the primitive types, right? So when you know the how many elements you are going to deal with in advance, then uh, we should go for the uh, array list and uh, underlying data structure is primitive type, right? So these are the basically parameters based on that uh, we can decide uh, we, we should uh, uh, create an array and uh, deal with that now uh, second point uh, where to choose uh, where to use or choose array list so these are the basically point i have collected and uh, it, it's a worth to know so uh, when we should select a uh, array list uh, uh, as our data structure so first point says array list allows big o of one time complexity or you can say constant time complexity for read and update operation yeah if position of the element is known then it can be grabbed in constant time using get uh, method right so if you know the uh, index of the element so directly you could call the get method you could pass the index right i could get the element so in that case you have a constant time complexity or big o of one so that's the point now second uh, when you try to add any elements in the array then what happened adding adding or removal right so adding adding and removing elements from the array other than at and requires shifting elements right either to make a new space for the element or for filling up the gap thus if frequent insertion and removals are required by your application logic then array list will perform poorly roughly a uh, time compl complexity would be big o of uh, n or linear time complexity right so your application basically demands right yeah or your application logic demands a lot of insertion and deletion uh, between the uh, your collection right so in that case of course your array is going to perform very poorly right in that case uh, we should go for the uh, basically uh, data structure like uh, linked list that we will discuss in the next next point now uh, next point says uh, you have many uh, operation right or methods like size is empty get set iterator list iterator operations run in the constant time when you use uh, basically array list constant time means big o of one time complexity uh, next let's go to the next point if more elements are needed than the capacity of array list than a new underlying array with uh, twice the capacity is created and old array is copied to the new one which which is time consuming operation roughly uh, time complexity would be the big o of n yeah so what happens as you know uh, underlying data structure of array is uh, array list is array itself right so uh, if your array size is 10 and if 
and already already you have uh, 10 elements in the array, array list and if you are going to add one more elements then uh, capacity uh, capacity of array is going to increase by twice right uh, so that is going to occupy more and more memory right so in that case to avoid higher cost of resizing operation uh, we should always assign a appropriate initial capacity to the array list at the time of construction right so if you knew the initial size of the basically uh, your element then uh, while creating the array list itself you can specify the size and you can avoid resizing right now when we talk about the where to choose or where to use linked list then these are the points always you should keep in mind uh, before uh, selecting linked list as a data structure linked list provides constant time or big o of one methods for insertion removal using iterators but the methods to find the elements have big o of n time complexity or you can say linear time complexity proportional to the size of the list thus are poor performing right so retrieval uh, in uh, in the case of a link list would be uh, basically slower uh, than insertion and uh, updation right so if your application demands a lot of insertion and updation and uh, in that case we should go for the link list yeah now next point link list has a more memory overhead because it needs two nodes for each element which point to previous and next element in the link list if you are looking for the random access of the elements then array list is the way to go for if you are looking for the elements to access by uh, uh, basically index the random access or uh, by index then you have a choice to go for the uh, link list yeah uh, but uh, if you have a more insertion and updation then we should go for the link list and uh, second point you need to keep in mind uh, link list always uh, hunger about the memory so link list has to maintain the two elements right two nodes basically uh, two nodes basically uh, which points to the previous and next uh, elements of the link list and, and that's the that's the reason link list uh, takes a lot of memory right so these things you will have to keep in mind if you have uh, some memory constraint then uh, going with link list uh, would not be a very good choice uh, let's say your collection co contains the very less number of elements then of course you can go with the link list but your collection contains huge amount of list a huge amount of elements right then you should keep in mind link list is going to take more memory than array list yeah so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you enjoy learning this video uh, i'm hoping this video uh, may be helpful for you in the uh, future yeah so thank you so much for watching this video and if you want to learn java in much more detail you can refer our website www.kkjavatutorials.com thank you